Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th uh, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is just a general reading for Aquarius star sign and uh, it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation uh, now if you want me to do that for you just as uh, I'm going to do for the examples I give in this video uh, that will be the subject of uh, your personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and as uh, this is uh, Christmas month you know uh, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live reading with me are reduced so you may want to take advantage of that so that being said these are the four main cards so the four of cups sits into a position uh, topic of the week Ace of Pentacles is the core of the situation. Two of Cups is the challenges which are causing predicaments. Emperor, that will be the guidance. So we are going to do an enhanced spread, which means multiple cards into position. And the accompanied card or the, um, the catalyst for the uh, Four of Cups, that is going to be the Knight of Swords. So what we do have here, it is a... Um, a matter of perception really so this week it is is going to be a week where you are to deliberate upon your um, further direction that you are to have because the four of cups here guys it is about uh, sitting and consuming whatever you have achieved in the past uh, and consuming the very last pieces of it but as soon as the consumption is is over you will have to kind of like choose and pick up a, a new direction for yourself or in other words choose and pick up a new goal and this is what the week is going to all about you choosing your next goal and uh, as the knight of swords is accompanying the four of um, the four of cups this is the uh, the cold perception that you cannot stay in the same place for much longer or you cannot sit in the that position that you are finding yourself for you know much longer because um, simply you are you are to start realizing that there is nothing more in it for you and uh, that is going to create uh, at some point uh, depend how much you stole you know this deliberation if you stole it way too much and uh, you're trying to convince yourself that you are in your place you know and uh, either into your career or either into your relationship for example uh, in your relationship you know you you may be in a stage of dating and this is the consumption here you are you may find yourself not satisfied any longer to be in that stage and you need to do something so you can either improve that relationship or search for a new one all right we're not talking here about improvement of a current state necessarily all right we're talking about improving personal circumstances and finding a new goal and that new goal with the example of the relationship could be new stage of the relationship or it could be brand new relationship either way is gonna suit you so what we have here as I said to continue my thought from before so the longer you are trying to convince yourself that the current stage of your life or of that undertaking uh, satis satisfies you and this is something you you know you can live with for maybe the rest of your life the more frantic afterwards you know you're opting for finding that direction of yours or for finding the new goal of yours is going to become so it's very highly advisable here at the very start of the week to um, you to start kind of like scratching down and opting for a, a new height to take because the new heights it is uh, what really uh, is awaiting you should you be 
uh, courageous enough because the Knight of uh, Swords is also about courage. So should you be courageous enough in order to um, take the risk? It's not really a risk. It may seem that way. For example, you know, dating with a person and you risking uh, asking them to go even deeper into a relationship and it may it, it may look like a risk because as soon as you ask them, it's, a, it's either going to be make it or break it, you know, and you may not want to risk your current position of dating, but either way, at least you are going to know. And if it's breaking, well, then you can move to the next one. You know, if it is making great, you know, you again, improve your personal circumstances. So uh, you have to be driven here, Aquarius, by the very human nature of the two of the we humans always have to go for more all right so we are our life is constant improvement and your improvement here is going to come by your conscious changes that uh, uh, con conscious deci decision that is very important while in one reading you know very often the reading presents you with the with the way that you should go forth here the way of what of where you should go forth it is it is entirely up to you to decide so i urge you to decide wisely and not to stall at that decision and prolong it with time. The next card, it is the core of the situation or why this is happening and we do have the Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles here. So we do see that this is the natural way of how things unfold. It is basically, these cards are pointing to you the realization that you need something stable and something solid and something that can improve in the distant future as well and sitting into one place as we said here with the four of cups that is not an improvement that is just you know that's siri anyway so sitting into this uh, specific point with no uh options uh, well how can i place it um having that position all right with no options to improve that position or to make it something bigger will be not satisfiable for you any longer. So the natural unfoldment here that comes with the core of the situation itself is going to urge you, you know, to make... Uh, this, this isn't even a changing, you know, it's kind of like you realize that the natural flow, it requires you to make something out of your life. And uh, this could push you either to ask for a promotion or to ask uh, your partner, for example, what their plans are for that relationship, to ask your suitor, um, are they willing to be in a relationship with you, you know, or to start searching for another job, and etc., etc. The very point here is, Capricorns, that that week you are to realize that this time around, instead of, you know, living for day to day uh, or day by day you are to uh, you are to have the opportunity to decide a uh, what is a long term goal of yours all right and to start moving into that direction direction start making your advance into that direction which is going to come completely completely natural to you additionally to that this window of opportunity where you have the luxury to decide what to do next comes from a, a very subtle um resolution of past issues of yours all right so you there is nothing from your past that can really stop your drive and that's why you have to be again courageous and uh, aim as much as you as big as you high or as high as you can. All right. It is just this time around, uh, your uh, you are going to be just as big as your dreams are. So um, allow yourself to dream big and uh, allow yourself to imagine that you can achieve that dream. And as soon as you start making toils for it then uh, you are to see that things are becoming material. They are starting to take shape, you know, suddenly um, and options available are opening in front of you and etc, etc. It's all about that. Of course, there may be Aquarius's of you, uh, of yours that simply does not want to move anywhere and for them the week is going to be completely deprived from any kind of activity whatsoever. It is just they are going to sit into that place 
and nothing literally is to happen. Uh, again, this is a general reading and what we discuss here are uh, possibilities and what we discuss are potentials available. And your potential, as I said, is to choose what your next direction is, sitting on a very solid foundation that this direction is going to be completely natural or its unfoldment is going to be completely natural and you are going to be based with a, a problem-free foundation as well. The next card here is the challenges which are causing predicaments. We do have the Two of Cups followed by the Sun card. So uh, a, a very peculiar combination. It is what we do have because these Couple of Cards, even though very positive on its own, in combo they are, a, a, this is a very bad combo. This is a complete lack of synergy what we do have here. And what literally happens is that even though there will be many people involved into your um, into your activity or into your goal that you are to set in front of yourself, so these cards are pointing that you will depend on people and you will have to maintain the good terms with them, that will be something that will really scrape down your nerves. It is basically, that will be the challenge for you guys to make in peace that you are to depend on people or on their behavior, you know, on their um, on their approval as well and um, uh, on their goodwill either. So it's very important here to, in order to overcome that challenge is really to make peace with those whom, whom you are dependent of and uh, that you have a new terms with. Because these cards are pointing that if you are willing to, you know, to kind of have, uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, to put your pride on the shelf, if I may express myself that way, you can really bury down the tomahawks of war. Additional challenge here for you is going to be to share your good fortune with others or to share your pain for that matter. Because these cards here are pointing that shared pain is half the pain and shared happiness is double happiness. But in the same time, you are to be so consumed with either your current position that you are taking as a dating someone or as working on a particular project or so consumed by the new direction that you have set in front of yourself that you are completely to forget that you are surrounded with other people. And on top of that, these cards are pointing as well that people will be disregarding your agenda. So they will care less for what you want to do. And that will put additional challenge here to make sharing and to really uh, kind of like uh, emotionally involve yourself with, uh, with others. That excludes, however, a, a romantic partners, potential romantic partners. But what these cards are pointing us is that should you search for a romantic partner here, this romantic partner is someone of your knowing already. And that is very well seen in the previous cards, you know, where you resolve issues from the past with that person and as you do have that standpoint here of not willing to invest now it's time for you to think and to look at the situation from another angle and that another angle is going to give you a, a fulcrum a long-term goal for you to focus on and to give on a devotion not to mention that the ace of pentacles is as a foundation of the core of the situation points to harmony into one's relationship so you do if you do want a harmony into your current relationships you can definitely do it throughout this week it is just you know you have to step outside of your comfort zone and show to the people that you do care all right you do care for them and you do care for their uh, for their personal problems, if I may express myself that way, even if they show that they don't care for yours. And maybe they are showing that way, they are showing that, and they are acting that way because until that moment you did not care about uh, their problems as well. They just show a little bit more compassion and that will be repaid big time. The last card that we do have, this is the uh, guidance the Tarot is offering to you and that is going to be the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles. So with these cards here, uh, they are just something that you can uh, you can choose to go for but you can choose not to as well. What these cards are pointing is that your investments, especially material investments like money and investments does not mean that you have to invest into a company, alright? Investment uh, 
um, um, it also could mean that you um, you invest in yourself, like buying new car, buying new additions to your home, you know, or buying new makeups as well, or just you know buying um, a uh, how can I place it a, a vacation a vouchers either you know coupons for for a vacation just so you can make yourself uh, more comfortable here and just so you can spoil yourself a little bit but uh, additionally uh, this is in an investment into your uh, in, into your domain if I may express myself that way uh, like the things that you are using in order to maintain control over your life for example if you are uh, using car you know and the car is a big uh, your car is a big deal of your environment you are driving to work you are coming back from work and etc etc these cards are pointing that you should start investing into your car like maintaining it better you know or if you do have the option here or you, you do have the means that uh, and your car is already very old that these cards may point that you should buy a new one it's basically the these cards uh, these couple of cards as a guidance is telling you Aquarius is that material investments into the comfortability of your life and into the means that you use in order to um, to maintain control over your life are going to prove them themselves very efficient and on top of that by doing so you are going to ease some um, how can I place it uh, some worries of yours and additionally uh, these investments that you may do are also going to uh, make make more freedom for yourself right you are to make more freedom for yourself one way or another I don't know what that means really I mean uh, it will that freedom will be will come from a different standpoint for every single one of you one will invest in car like I said others will invest in home thirds we will invest just into going out with uh, with uh, friends and having parties and etc etc but in generally that is going to allow you to establish more control over uh, over your life over your relationship and over your career in general so that being said this was the tarot reading for your Aquarius and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, what they are to show us um, is a event that uh, you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid so the first card that we do have this is the stork and the stork is associated with uh, delivery new era or a new beginning as we said here uh, finding a new goal of yours you know or defining a new goal of yours and as well birth the next card that is going to be the lily and the lily is associated with elders is associated with sex and it is associated with material comfort as well and the last card that is going to be the uh, the letter the letter is associated with invitation, is associated with email, and it is associated with something written, a, a letter. So what we do have um, <clears throat> here, guys, that could be interpreted in many ways, really, and it is a very uh, figurative, uh, figurative message. So what we do have is a new material, um, kind of like new material beginning, if I may say it that way coming from a letter or something like that I really cannot make much sense of uh, those cards they are highly I think that they are highly um, connected to every single personal situation that could also be a, a message that someone is uh, asking you to be in a relationship with them maybe a, a friends with benefits type of relationship at the start but in the same time um, uh, you know with a, a potential to make it something bigger you know as we said here uh, that is going to be a long-term goal so you have to start from somewhere as well that could be a message from your family uh, notifying you for a certain birth that happening or for a, a new beginning that someone is trying to initiate in the family as well it will come in a written form and it will involve either family um, or it will involve either uh, a, a material gains as well or sex and it will regard to a, a new beginning so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it
it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for Aquarius star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I, in this video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you just like I did for the examples in this video well that is a subject of a personal reading then and uh, for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services and uh, their pricings as well and if you go for that option don't forget about the Christmas sales which regards to the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading with me and their prices are simply reduced so that being said um, we are going to see each other around and until then bye